بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو دا کارپوریٹ گورننس ماڈیول اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ان ٹو دا نٹی گریٹیز آف کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ دا ویریس ٹپولیشنز آف دا سیکورٹیز ایکسچینج کمیشن آف پاکستان ایکٹ اینڈ اگین وی آر سینگ دیٹ ہاؤ دی ڈائریکٹرز اینڈ ہاؤ فائنینشیل رپورٹنگ شوڈ بی ٹیکنگ پلیس ٹوڈے لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمین وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک اینڈ دیٹ ٹاپک از کارپوریٹ اینڈ فائنینشیل رپورٹنگ فریم ورک اینڈ دس از ایکسٹریملی امپورٹنٹ ان دا کانٹیکسٹ of how the various financial and corporate reporting is basically done and what are the different stipulations. Now, the first thing as all of you do know is that the directors are responsible in listed companies and they are responsible that they have to include the statements prepared under section 236 of the company's ordinance. So, what do they have to oversee? Number one, the financial statements of the company. Number two, proper books of accounts. And number three, appropriate accounting policies. So, these are the three main items uh, or responsibilities of the directors in the context of the reporting framework. Now, when we look at these, then another very important thing is, is that they also have to foresee and uh, also ensure that the international accounting standards are met. The system of internal control is there. And again, that the listed company has the ability to implement these international accounting standards and the system of internal control. So, this, ladies and gentlemen, is extremely important and the directors have to ensure this because this is the very backbone of corporate governance and uh, of listed companies' uh, own credibility. And again, all of this is being done in the context of good governance and corporate governance. Now, another thing which the director's report uh, must disclose are the reasons that why they did not consider a company to be a going concern, uh, why did they not declare the dividends or bonus share for the previous year. So, these two are also mandatory in the director's uh, report. And now, when we look at other contexts and other dimensions, there are outstanding amounts in respect of taxes, duties, uh, levies and charges along with its amount. That has to be specified in the report. All material information relating to the business effect uh, the market price that also has to be a part of the report so that the stakeholders and the shareholders especially the smaller shareholders they have a appropriate and a completely contextualized understanding of the financial performance of the firm so that they can take the right directions uh, and reach towards the best of results so that is again what we see again in this unaudited statements should be published and distributed uh, by the directors statutory audits should review half ordered financial statements and the CEO and CEO have to have the annual accounts and quarterly accounts maintained in the best possible way. So, this is again what we see and have to be included in the director's report. Annual statements should be distributed no later than four months after closure of the financial statements and every information has to be registered and delivered to the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan. So, again, what we see, ladies and gentlemen, is is that in the reporting framework, there is a lot of responsibility uh, of the directors of a listed company and there are various stipulations which have to be met. If they are not met, then that can lead, lead to uh, many uh, fines and penalties uh, and also uh, various uh, closures which can take place. Uh, the statement has to be uh, candid, has to be truthful, has to be uh, basically encapsulating uh, the most genuine uh, statistics and performance uh, results of the organization so that the smaller shareholders and the other stakeholders can take the right, uh, the right uh, decisions uh, in the future for that particular uh, listed company. And most importantly, again, is the fact that every information has to be delivered to the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan for future reference and also to ensure that there is a continuity of uh, financial policies which are uh, there within that particular organization. And so, these are the reporting frameworks which have to be maintained by the directors of the board. Thank you so much.